Good morning. It's Royal Ruby waking up at the campsite. It's pretty chilly this morning outside. But that's okay because we have a cup of joe to take the chill off. I just love camping in the fall, guys. I mean, the temperatures are awesome. I like it a little cooler to sleep at night. You don't have to worry about a fan. You know, my fan I ended up putting up in the front of the van. I packed it away up there because I really didn't need it. I mean, it's beautiful weather and you don't need any circulation. You don't need anything. It's just perfect. Ted's all underneath the covers. He's staying warm. So right now it's about <clears throat> 54, 55 degrees inside the van, which isn't bad, really. It's probably maybe 49 outside. And I've already brewed my first cup of joe, guys. Cheers. Salute to you. Mm, here we go. Tastes so good. Mm. But guys, the Mr. Coffee is my go-to coffee maker. The percolated coffee maker, I figured out, I love it. It tastes so much better, but <clears throat> it is a bit of a hassle. I got to get the butane stove out to use that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in the morning, in the van, when I wake up, I have the butane stove out in the dining canopy, you know, so I just keep that out there so I have that out there to cook so it's in it would be inconvenient for me to drag it back into the van to cook my coffee because obviously I don't want to be outside in the early morning because it's chilly so the Mr. Coffee is the best choice for the mornings and I have it plugged right into my Jackery it drew my Jackery down to 79% I was at 85 when it started <clears throat> so it does, you know, draw me down a little bit, but I have shore power here, so it's no big deal. Plus, even when I don't have shore power, I have solar panels. I can recharge my batteries. Yeah, so it's not a big deal. Even on this particular campsite that is mostly shady, the front of the campsite is sun. So I could just take my solar panels out front and charge them because they are... <clears throat> they are portable. Whereas when you have the solar panels on top of your van, you can't do that. You can't park in the shade because you're not going to get any sun coming down onto your panels. You have to always park your vehicle strategically in the sun or have a site that's in the sun. Whereas when you have portable panels like I have, I have two 100 watt portable panels. I can take those anywhere on the site that I want to where the sun is. So you know, I just think it's a better way to charge your Jackery, your um, batteries when you're out on the road. But I do love this campsite. Um, it has really, really beautiful, um, clean sites. And the wake-ups are very quiet. Now, you can hear the highway from this campsite if you listen closely. Because you're not too far from it. And there is a rooster. That crowed this morning and it was really awesome <clears throat> it reminded me of my young childhood memories of my grandmother's house waking up at her house and she had several roosters that would crow and that's what it reminded me of memory lane well guys Royal Ruby has lots of adventures in store for you today we're gonna go on a couple of hikes and there's some really fun stuff to do around here. So we're going to go check it out. Me and the Tedster, whenever I can get him awake. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, it's a great morning. It's supposed to be 70 degrees here, 74 degrees here today, 75 degrees tomorrow. So we're going to have some great camp days. And I'm so excited to share these with you. Checkout time tomorrow is 3 o'clock. So I can spend the whole morning here and just chill and take my time with taking things down and just enjoy nature for one more last couple of hours. So I really appreciate that late checkout time. 
<clears throat> they wanted us to check in by three, but I got here earlier than that. I think it was two. And I just came back, started setting up. Nobody said anything to me because there's really no one here. I mean, there's a couple people. It's it's not, it's not. it's got people here. And the park rangers are all here, but they don't seem to really care, you know, when you get here. So I started setting up at about two o'clock yesterday and, you know, had everything ready no, no later than four. I was situated, ready, make, ready to make my dinner. So <clears throat> that worked out pretty good. So I'm going to go now, guys, but we are going to hook up again in a couple of hours and we'll do some more fun exploring. Have a blessed day.